Hi everyone, it's Denise with Wonder Bar Crafts. I am going to do the Margaret Miller's um, CW Planner, the Collage Weekly Planner, and it is week 51, so this week and then one more week, or not, <laughs> for the year. Anyway, um, I ordered a couple new of these, um, these mixed media. I bought some better ones, I think. Um, that are, I think they're the same pound and stuff, and but they're just a different brand. Um, I'm kind of, they have uh, same amount of sheets and stuff, but I was going to get a bigger one, and then I thought, oh my gosh, what if I get stuck in a week that I just can't figure out what I'm going to put in there? That's a lot of empty space, so, and I, I have kind of got, gotten partial to these, so, um, I went ahead and ordered a couple of these. Um, I think they, uh, and I did get the new volume two, which is the 2022s. Well, it, it's not really, it just says volume two because it's not really dated for a specific year kind of thing. So, um, yeah. Okay. And I need to take these extra pages out next week. So, they're not curling because some of them are like curling in the in the edges here which is driving me bananas when it does that because it's like gonna break <laughs> once i get those extra ones done i'll put a pocket in the back here i think you know this will be a pocket this last one next week will be the pocket for the back side of this and then we'll take these pages out so yay <laughs> All right, so we've got what one, two, four, five. I think we've got to put the last two on this side over here, and then when we start over, we'll start all over again. Um, sorry, I'm fidgety today. I don't know why. So we're gonna put our backdrops on first. Uh, let's see. This is going to go on this side here. I want to put some background stuff. Something, something, something. Backgroundy. We'll put some numbers, I think. Backgroundy. And there. Uh, goodness. Sorry. I'm tired. It has been a long day. It's actually like 5.30 in the afternoon, but it sure feels like it's about 9 o'clock at night because it's all dark and you know how that goes. <laughs> how that is. So, um, What color? What color? I kind of like the iced spruce. Of a gray color, though, really. Yeah. Frayed burlap. We'll put a little burlap in there. That'll look okay. I think I need to move that other one. It's more of a gray color. But anyway. Well, goodness gracious, look at that. I have pushed on, I do, I push, I'm very hard on my brushes because I sometimes don't realize I don't know what's going on that's like the fourth time I've missed the today has just been a week you ever have one of those like really weird days freaky things happen like you know what I mean like yeah I've had a very freaky day today <laughs> to say the least it has just been like weird you know like uh Um, so like early this morning I had, I got up, I was making my uh, coffee, well I had, you know, let the chickens out and I came back in, let the chickadees, you know, wander a little bit and, uh, the, um, I'm like standing there looking out the window 
And all of a sudden, one of the chickens popped up on the back. Like I have like a planter, like a, I don't know how else to explain it. Like it's a, a, um, Come on, Denise, think it's like a shelving, it's an outdoor like iron shelving unit that you put like plants and stuff on. Well, she jumped up on it to look through the <laughs> scared the little crap out of me because I'm like just looking out the window, lolly, you know, just daydreaming and looking out the window. And all of a sudden, this bird jumps up and looking at me like, Hey, can I come in? <laughs> no. All right. Yeah, I, it doesn't surprise me. I'm very rough with stuff. Sometimes I, I break a lot of stuff. I'm one of those people that everything breaks. <laughs> so, okay. <sighs> I've broke scissors. I have broke tools. <laughs> I'm a little... And I, just, I think because I was a mechanic for so long, sometimes gripping tools when you're like on an aircraft, you don't want to drop them and you don't want to have to climb back down to get them and all that other hoopla. You um, tend to grip, you learn to grip things so your hands get a lot of strength in them. And sometimes I, I do tend to break things. <laughs> A lot of things. Sorry, am I not in the? Uh, been bad about that lately, haven't I? Sorry about that. All right, and our prompt. I'm just tired this week. I think. I like finally have a week that I don't have a whole lot like just ripping at me. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll be able to do a lot more crafting this week, do some more videos. Whew, I'm exhausted, y'all. <laughs> I need a vacation from, you know, having all those vacations. Really, they weren't, vac you know what I'm saying? Like you get like vacation, but it's not really vacation because you're spending it doing stuff with just stuff with everybody. So. You don't really don't feel like you're relaxing. You're having fun, but you're just not relaxing. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of been me today. But yeah, like I said, that freaky thing happened. And then I was in here um, and I was getting some all my stuff prepped for this. And um on my computer and I could have swore my speakers were there was noise coming out of them like people talking and not like you know I'm hearing voices kind of thing it was like something it had to have been something echoed either from down the hall where my son was at or something and it just sounded like that because I know they were not voices coming out of my speakers they weren't even on you know I turn on the computer and then normally once it boots up then I turn my speakers on and stuff and I was just like yeah just tired I think no I'm not hearing voices like that <laughs> it was just freaky you know what I'm saying like you've done it I'm sure you guys have done it where you've heard you, you could have swore you heard something you're just not sure what it was and your mind it's like seeing something in the at night your mind wants to just put a figure to whatever it thinks it sees. So, you know, and I think that's pretty much what it was doing. Oh, no, it's out of glue again. Golly. That means I'm doing a lot of crafting. That's a good thing. All right, something underlined in red. So I was like, man, I don't know. I was talking to my friend on the phone, and she was like, oh, you know, like when you get a bad grade, something is underlined in red. And I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So I pulled out this guest check. And I was like, oh, let me take the bottom off. Right? 
cause you know it's kind of got some underlined in red the letters or the numbers right and then this so I thought okay we could do that but then the next thing says a form or a portion well guess check is a form right so I thought I'm not going to use the whole thing I think I'm just going to use a portion of that we're going to cut that so let me go ahead and do that now these are for those checks I think they're from Italy Or something. I can't remember where I got them from. Um, turquoise dreaming. I think that's where I got them from. Turquoise dreaming is where I got them. So we use this and this as a form. It says a stitching pattern sewn, drawn, or stamped. So I have a little card, right? It's already got the sewing on it got zigzag pattern so thought maybe we can make a little pocket or something with it um a portion of a postcard either side so I do have a postcard I've got some stamps that are postcard so I might do some stamping on there but um I have some older older ones and I don't want to really put them in here so I have this one it's from North Carolina um Elizabeth in gardens uh, so um, I figured out I'll just use it I guess in there maybe we could put it in there All right and then make some other little tuck tags or something with it some washi have washi it's postcard washi and something that sits on a table there are a lot of things that can sit on a table, but I thought a little vase. So maybe I could, you know, just kind of put that in the center there or something. We'll put some something in there. We'll decorate it. Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah. So I think I want to stamp a little bit first, though, before I start doing all of that. I do have a postcard stamp. So I think I want to do that. But we're going to put it up here. So how is everyone? I hope everyone is doing all right and getting ready for their holiday season, I'm sure. You know, I, don't, I don't celebrate, but um, gosh darn it, I, I know I had... You know, I know I had another one of these somewhere else oh there it is I was like I know I had another one somewhere else that was a nice little size for this yeah hmm brown or black I'm gonna put it on there straight first right Somewhat straight. How about some black? Yeah. I am really having a lot of fun with that um, journal, with that journal cover. I wasn't sure about it at first, and for I was kind of like, yeah. Even after I got it done, I was like, well, maybe I should. It's grown on me. It really has. So I'm really happy with it. I'm going to leave it as it is because you know how they say your first instinct, you should just go with it. So. All right. There's that. And... I know a lot of people are doing Christmas themes, I'm sure, this week with their Margaret Miller because of, you know, the week it is. But I don't celebrate it, too. It would be kind of wasted on me to do that. Why did I put my ink up? I don't know. Why did you put your ink up? Because I'm silly. You're playing. <laughs> hey. 
No, I'm not talking to myself and hearing voices. I know what you guys are thinking. Oh my gosh, she's losing her mind. I really am not. There we go. And I think that's about it for stamping. I don't want to do too, too much here. Ta -da -ta -da. Oh, man. Have you any of you guys seen the new Marvel? Um, I can't remember that it's like, it's supposed to be about like the Ten Rings or something. I, I watched it. It was, it was good. It was good for a new Marvel, you know, superhero. It was pretty good. Um, I like both DC and Marvel. I'm not, you know, I mean, I like DC because Wonder Woman, of course, you know, all of us girls, well, most of us girls, I can't say all, I won't speak for everyone. Um, you know, really enjoyed Wonder Woman, that was, she was the bomb diggity, you know, if I want to be Wonder Woman, oh yeah, <laughs> but, um, so, who's your guys' favorite superhero? You know, like DC or Marvel better? I like them both. Um, I really like, um, oh, Jason Momoa in the uh, Aquaman. Oh, he, they picked a perfect person for that. Oh, he's so good looking. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I'm not big into Batman, Superman kind of thing. I think they're not really my cup of tea. I mean, I'll watch them. I like them, but they're not my cup of tea kind of thing. And, so then, um, uh, you got, um, who else? The, um, I like Thor. I like, um, Who's the other, the other ones that I like? Um, oh, all the X-Men. I like the X-Men series. That's a really good series. I remember reading a few of those comics. I never really got into like a big comic book kind of thing. I liked a little bit, but I wasn't really um, a big, you know, oh, I gotta go run out and get the new episode kind of. I mean, if somebody else had it and I want, and I read it, then that's cool, but other than that, that was that. <laughs> okay. So, let's see, let's see. So, we want to make a packet, right? So, let's put that on there. We're going to need some blue. Mm. Let me do some fabric tack. That's a heavy duty piece. Going in there. If I get it to come out. Oh. See, the problem is I bought a lot of this in bulk. I bought a big, you know, like six pack of this. At the time when I was still like hot and heavy crafting, kind of like I'm getting back into. But, you know, um, and then it, it sat. So, you know, you got to get it thinned back out again. Oh, and that always stinks. I'm not even laying anything down. Barely. Barely. And then, um, so, because normally it comes out pretty good. I like the art glitter glue for, like, my smaller piecing and stuff like that. But when I'm doing heavy-duty stuff or fabric, the fabric hack is going to win. I know Amy can't stand it. She's like, oh, don't. she doesn't like the feel of it. I kind of get it. it. It is one of those glues that, and it. Well, let me tell you, get around. If you haven't been around it for a while and you 
sniff it, you're kind of like, ugh, ugh, ugh. yeah. Who needs a dispensary? <laughs> I noticed that um, the St. Louis, I guess the St. Louis mayor or governor, uh, yeah, St. Louis mayor has repealed the um, medical marijuana thingy or something ordinance in Kansas, in St. Louis. I don't know. I guess it might be a problem in there. So, all right, we're gonna put, we're just gonna use the postcard because it's pretty big. We don't need to put a bunch of graphical stuff on there, right? So, what are we gonna do here? Because we've got something that's underlined in red, but maybe we should underline it a little more in red so that it can definitively be seen and that it's underlined in red. <laughs> okay. So. Let's see in this weird I can draw I can paint almost a straight line with a paintbrush but I can't with a darn yeah <laughs> oh, no. oh, my hands were cramping after doing that last night I had to take some Advil when I went to bed okay so let's let's put a little something on here I don't know what yet um hmm. what I got down here I'm going to grab some avocado dye. That's a little bit of book page or something. Something, something. Real music. Dappy. Well, let's put a little blue in here. It's kind of, it's got, I think it's got uh, snowflakes on it or something. Or no, it's got little, it's like the, uh, got the cottages, um, I can't remember the name of that stuff. Mo is it a mo mo motif or something like that? Shoot, I can't remember. Okay. Where are the scissors? Oh, there's a five right there. Too bad there wasn't a one. else what else so we could put a little flower in there a little pearl let's put a little flower paper flower because i think the paper flowers will push down a little bit maybe one with a little sparkle on it and just have a wee bit of sparkle sorry i'm, I'm just in a good mood <laughs> i've had some really freaky thing all you can do is just be in a good mood right just gotta I don't know it's just like a weird been a weird day it really has I mean oh. these are the days that people say oh you should just go back to bed <laughs> I wish <laughs> way too much to do 
way too much. We had to go. I guess my son, my son, my son has an electric car. Like it's all electric. Yeah. I don't know about all those. And it's under recall because it's a Chevy Bolt. And um, so then we get notified. There's no pre-warning. Just notify because he, he bought the car this year. No, um, nothing when we bought the car that said, oh, by the way, you're going to have a, um, instead of, because you don't pay fuel tax, you're going to pay a, an electric, you're going to have to get like an electric decal, like an elect alternative fuel decal is what it's called. Awesome. So what? <laughs> so what? Yeah. So, okay, if you say, all right, so let's do, okay, a portion, stitching or sew pattern here, a portion of a postcard, okay, we got that, a form of portion, this is that form, okay, it says grazie on it, I don't want to put the same blue, so let's find something else. Could use a little bit of blue jean fabric. Like this kind of blue jean fabric. I think would be pretty. So, yeah, so we had to go and, you know, he had take all that stuff in he's I, I went with him because I had no clue that any of that I just wanted to know you know like what why and they said well because he drives on the roads and he's not paying a fuel tax okay but isn't that what part of our lottery and tolls or any of that other stuff is supposed to, I mean we pay part of that too in our in our property tax so why are we paying it again and the girl was like I don't know. I said, no, I know it's not her, you know, it's not her, not her fault, not her. I just was like, what? that makes just absolutely no sense to me at all. Like, why would you, I don't know. I guess they got to get you coming and going because, you know, they got to have their, their portion of his rebate that he gets for buying the, you know, the electric car to begin with. And Honestly, I have my reservations about the electric cars, but it's, it's my own personal reservation, so I won't push that on anyone. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm. Another little flower, too? Or should we put, like, maybe a couple little pearls down there? I think a couple little tiny pearls, teeny tiny, would look okay down over there or something. Or a little butterfly if I can find one. I know it's not really the season for butterflies, is it? Or a birdie? You know, one thing I that dawned on me, I was like, you know, I got those um, winter cover, those journal, those fabric covers from um, Crafty Cat, and it dawned on me because I was like. Oh my god, the bird on there is the eastern or the western uh, bluebird. I think it's the western bluebird or the eastern bluebird or whatever. But that's, I think it's, that's what it is. The eastern bluebird? Yeah, the eastern bluebird. That is the Missouri's, um, Missouri's uh, bird. State bird. So I was like, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, it was just something. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, okay. It was, it, I thought it was neat. Good, it was a cool coincidence, is all I'm saying. I didn't even it didn't even dawn on me when I got it. I was like, "Oh, look at the cute little birdies, and they're so pretty." And <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put three here. Bird up.
and then turn it over here. But so we're using the odd even method. Odds, odds, two odds make one even, right? Three and three. That doesn't always work, but I don't think it always works, does it? I think it does. Two odds make an even. Okay. And it's just a little something to write on anyway. So in there. And then washi tape. It's postage stamp. I'm going to put a little postage stamp on the back and then like up here and whatever. So mm -mm. Well, come on out. Come on out. So I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. This postage stamp, I like the washi. It's beautiful washi. Washi. It's just very hard to see where you left off here. On here. Oh my gosh, I need to go grab another tube. I've been trying to keep my little thingies so I can put them in there. Okay, so that's a little washi stamp, right? And then we'll put that back in there. Oh, my little flower piece came off, so we gotta glue that back on. Can't have that coming off now, can we? So that's what makes it a pretty little flower, so we know it's a flower, right? <laughs> All right. Um, and then I want a little bit of washi. I ripped it. And my fault I like got to I manhandled that. I gave it a too much. Alright, so I think do I wanna put some like down the side maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Maybe. If my clue. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a day today. All right, let me grab another tube. Give me just a second. Okay. I guess I should. That was probably a good thing because I was looking at the camera and... I don't think I was in it. Sorry about that. You guys need to yell at me when that happened. <laughs> you guys probably are going, yeah, okay, Denise. We're done with that. Shut up the video. <laughs> All right. Yeah, a little bit more. There we go. Pretty, pretty. I think it's pretty. Anyway. And then we need um, something that sits on our table. So we got a vase of flowers. And I'm going to put that right on there. Ooh, that glue is like really smooth for some reason. It's brand new, I think. Brand new glue. 
Oh, I wanted to put some stuff behind there, didn't I? Oh, yeah, 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 Denise. <sighs> Not paying attention again. What's up with you, woman? I don't know. Just having a moment. I would say I'm having a senior moment, but I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> I'm getting close, but just not there yet. So. All right, get it in there. See, I need to rearrange a little bit again because um, the uh, um, there we go. Camera over here kind of squishes me against the edge. I mean, I've still got a lot of room on the table, but I've got stuff over here in my table and stuff, so I feel like I'm always because I got to be on this side, I feel kind of like I'm Err. so I need to open up a little more. So I think I'm going to move it to the other end down there of the table and just kind of shift some stuff around, I guess. And then I'm sitting there. It's going to be an adjustment because I'm not normally used to sitting on that end. But oh, and guys, I don't know. I found some stainless steel pins, these pins. Uh, with the little bowl pads on them. I did find them. They are made, they're very hard to find. I found them, um, and they, they come from a, a Thailand or Vietnam or something like that, but they are 100% stainless steel. They're not the nickel plated. So I'm like, yay. But um, if you guys are curious, I can, um, I'm can. i happy to share the link where I got them from. I did get them from Amazon, but they're not, a, I don't think they're a prime item. I had to wait like a long time to get them in. They were, um, I think it took like a month to get them. But I mean, if you guys, <laughs> it's better to wait a month than to, and, and just, and then get them than to not have them at all, right? So. Let me know, and I'm happy to share the link for them. They weren't that expensive either. I, I want to say they were three or four dollars. I mean, they were expensive compared to pins that you buy in Walmart. But for you know, so anyway, in a huge. All right, so now we need to put our number on there. But let's make sure before we do that, that that's the last thing we do. So something underlined in red, we've got that. The ticket number is underlined in red, a form or a portion. So we've got the um, restaurant ticket, that portion of that form. Uh, stitched pattern, sewn, drawn, or stamped. So here's the zigzag right here. Uh, and we made a pocket with that. And a portion of a postcard. So, or a portion of a postcard either side. So, it says a portion. I just used the whole one, but we got a stamp on there too. Washi tape, we put a stamp. We use the stamp style washi tape. Put some on there and on the postcard. Something that sits on a table, a uh, vase full of flowers. So, um, actually, I need to get some of that glue off of there. Alrighty then. Was that? Did that peel off? Uh, whatever. That's my book anyway. If it had, I, I'd replace it, but it's a knot. So I'm going to put the 51. Goodness, one last week. We're done with the 2021 Margaret Miller, and then we're just going to continue on 
with that. Right. Mm, I'm probably gonna put the one if my one is too big. <laughs> it's gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna find a smaller one. I like the big 51, but oh my goodness, you guys, I could just go to bed right now. I'm serious, I'm just so tired. There's a one. What I need to do is take these out and separate them by size, like, or, you know, kind of like a, a small, all the small, thin, or whatever, go here, and there we go. So, now I can just grab them out when I need them. I bought a whole nother set, um, and she sent me a set. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. <laughs> um, and then, so... I've got plenty of numbers for next year. Yay! <laughs> anyway, there's 51. Um, and, um, by the way, yes, so somebody asked me, ah, this thing keeps falling off. Um, a personal question. I won't say who, I'm not going to say what. They messaged me and asked me, um, like, why my voice is the way it is. Um, so, I have a very loud voice. So, when I'm talking, I'm kind of restricting my voice. My, um, when I talk really, like, kind of normal, I'm, I'm, I resonate. Like, my voice resonates. People, like, look like, what the heck is she? You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at that thing. It keeps freaking falling off and it's driving me bananas. Okay. I'm just going to draw it in. You know what I mean? Um, but that's why sometimes, you know, I don't notice it at first. Like when I come first on and I say, hi, everybody. It's, you know, I get really, the, the video gets really loud because uh, I forget that. I need to be a little quieter with my voice because I do. I tend to, it, it sounds like it's strained um, and I am kind of straining it so that I can talk a little lower for you guys. You know what I mean? So I don't blow your eardrums out because I am a very loud talker. So I just have a loud mouth, I guess. I'm just a loud mouth. I'm just a loud mouth. All right. So that's 51. We're all done. We got one more week left. But don't, don't, you know, um, hopefully you guys will join me next year for 2021 or 2022's Margaret Miller. And we're going to start from the very beginning. We're not going to try and rush to get all that caught up like we did last time. Holy moly, that was a lot. But we did it, didn't we? Sure did. Surely did. So, anyway. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Um, plenty of hugs, lots of blessings. Bye, guys. Thank <sighs> you.